For more than 250 years, Charles Wesley's immortal words, love divine or love's excelling, have inspired many musical settings. And of course, we all have a favorite. There's Wesley's own choice of tune by his contemporary Henry Purcell, and the 19th century one by John Stainer called Love Divine. And of course, the early 20th century classic, Blind Wedding. So here's a new arrangement of all three of them by the 21st century composer, Malcolm Archer. Malcolm Archer has been director of music at several of England's great cathedrals. And his talent for arranging pieces for young singers is put to good use in his present role at Winchester College. There's always new texts being written and there's always new music to be written. One should never stifle that flow of inspiration. And you never know when a new gem is going to be composed and each generation will produce its great music as it has for years and years and years. In a sense there shouldn't be a battle between ancient and modern if all composers are writing music which is accessible and which people enjoy singing. 
And I think that's a very important starting point for me. I always want to write music which I feel will stand the test of time, hopefully, and which people will want to perform and want to sing. And Malcolm's tune to our next hymn is rapidly becoming a favourite. As well as being home to the Royal School of Church Music, Sarum College is also a Christian ecumenical centre where people of all faith backgrounds can research and study. Despite its Anglican roots, the Royal School of Church Music uh, is, is an ecumenical organisation and we work very closely with a range of different, uh, uh, different traditions. I suppose We've exemplified this in our Sing Praise, a new hymn book, which tries to draw in on all those different traditions. When Methodism began, hymn singing was very important. Also in the Roman Catholic Church, there's some very, very important hymn writers. Bernadette Farrell does a tremendous job in writing music and uh, hymns for the Roman Catholic Church. There is someone who knows me. Sometimes people say, oh, I didn't know you were still alive. Sometimes they say, oh, I was expecting a, an older lady with you know, white hair in a bun. For me, music is a language of faith. We've all got the reign of God inside us. We all want to see a world where people no longer die of hunger and war, where everyone has an equal chance. But do we wait for someone else to make that happen? Writing is part of my response to the scriptures, and the scriptures are full of the reign of God. Um, and we need all the gifts that God's given us to bring that reign about. <laughs> 